The first lawsuit's coming down in the Oxford school shooting as the fourth victim in the massacre is the first victim laid to rest. News 8's Joe Lafergi in studio tonight to break down these lawsuits. Joe. Brian Emily, the two lawsuits were filed in Detroit Federal Court by Jeffrey and Brandy Franz on behalf of their daughters who are students at Oxford High School. Now, according to that lawsuit, Riley and Bella Franz were in a school bathroom when the shooting rampage started. As they exited the bathroom, the alleged shooter, Ethan Crombley, shot at them, hitting Riley in the neck. Bella was not hit by the gunfire. The defendants named in these lawsuits are the Oxford School District, Superintendent Tim Throne, Oxford High's principal, two unnamed counselors, two unnamed teachers, and another staff members. The suit claims the groups are responsible through their actions for making the student victims less safe. In a letter last week, Superintendent Tim Throne wrote that school staff involved in Crumbly's case did not have reason to believe that he would cause harm to others when releasing him back into the classroom after disturbing drawings were observed on his desk. On the morning of the shooting, Crumbly's parents, who are also charged in this case, were summoned to the school to address those drawings. School officials say the parents uh, told the parents Ethan was to get counseling within 48 hours. He was then returned to class. The shooting that took the lives of four students and injured multiple others was carried out a short time after that. During a press conference today, Attorney, Je Attorney Jeffrey Figer says that he believes the school left the police liaison out of the process. And that move, Figer says, put students in danger. I think one of the big things in this case that could have prevented all of this tragedy would have been the, the involvement of the police liaison, which is what they're there for. Um, I have not heard a rational explanation uh, uh, from uh, the school administration as to why that was not utilized. Um, and as a result, by doing the things that they did or didn't do, they placed the students in much greater danger than they would have been had they done that. The students would have been protected, and that is basically the essence of the federal complaint here. The lawsuits are seeking $100 million each. The accused shooter, Ethan Crumbly, is charged with a list of offenses, including terrorism causing death and four counts of first-degree murder. His parents, James and Jennifer Crumbly, are both charged with four counts of involuntary manslaughter each.